ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हाई पास फिल्टर्स सो लेट एस कंसिडर एन इमेज हेयर एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सपोज अ लाइन गोइंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सो यू कैन सी दिट इज अ ब्राइट पॉइंट हेयर एंड इफ आई ड्रॉ अ लाइन हेयर देन सपोज आई एम ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर द इंटेंसिटीज ऑफ दिस लाइन सो फॉर दिस लाइन अज्यूमिंग दैट दिस इज अ थ्री बिट इमेज सो आई हैव ग्रे लेवल्स अवेलेबल फ्रॉम जीरो टू सेवन हेयर सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ वाइट हेयर सो द इंटेंसिटी इज समेयर अराउंड फाइव देन इट्स कमिंग डार्कर सो इट बिकम्स डार्क एंड इट गोज अप टू जीरो विच इज ब्लैक हेयर देन दिस इज एन आइसोलेटेड पॉइंट विच वी सॉ हेयर सो फॉर दिस पॉइंट यू विल हैव अ स्पाइक हेयर विच इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक सिक्स इन द ब्राइटनेस एंड देन सडनली इट ड्रॉप्स डाउन बिकॉज यू आर कमिंग बैक अगेन टू द डार्क पोर्शन सो इट बिकम जीरो सो दिस ब्लैक पोर्शन सो वेन यू आर गोइंग थ्रू दिस दे आर सर्टन लाइक इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक थ्री पिक्सल्स दैट यू गो थ्रू दिस लाइन हेयर एंड यू विल हैव इंटेंसिटीज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री एंड वन अगेन and then again you'll have black and then complete white over here so suppose you capture these pixels and you have the intensities here now let's look at in an interesting thing here let's try to find out the derivative for this entire uh, range if i'm looking at the derivative in a single line it's fx plus 1 minus fx so for this particular pixel over here it's going to be If I'm looking at the first pixel, it's going to be f x plus one minus f x, so that will be five minus five zero. For this pixel, it's going to be four minus five minus one. For this pixel, three minus four minus one. Similarly, I will get the first derivative for all these values. And obviously, you will not get any value for here because this pixel you will not get any value. And similarly, for the last pixel, you will not get any value. Now, if I try to plot this, then you will see that this is zero. This is Again, minus one, minus one. So you are getting values here, minus one and all. And here, it's coming from zero. It's going to up to six, and then it's coming to minus six. So what was that point? Now let's go back and see which point was it. So I'm coming from a z six to minus six. So you will notice that at these isolated points, I'm getting a spike here. This is known as a zero crossing. I'm coming from a positive. to a negative value i'm crossing the zero over here similarly over here i'm getting a zero crossing when i'm crossing this line over here this entire small line of 3 pixels when i cross it i'm again getting a zero crossing so you can see that these points they are basically highlighting the edges so what are edges edges are basically wherever there is a differentiation between the intensity value of the background and this entire pixel then you can consider it as a spike or a edge so this is an edge and you will get a zero crossing here this is again an edge you'll get again a spike here so my first derivative is sensitive towards the differentiation in the intensity values now let's look at the second derivative so second derivative becomes fx plus 1 plus fx minus 1 minus twice the fx So if I come to the second derivative in terms of this pixel, I'll be talking about for this pixel. So this plus this minus twice of this. So it becomes five plus four minus ten, which is minus one. Similarly for this, it will be five plus three minus twice into four, that is eight minus eight zero. Similarly for this pixel, six minus twice of three zero again zero. So, if you look at this interesting point here, it will become zero plus zero minus two times six, which is minus twelve. So, over here it becomes six, and here it is six. Now, if you plot these points, you will see that it it is still a sharper spike. From plus six, you are going to minus twelve, and then again you are going to plus six. So, it's a much spi sharper spike. So, what do we observe? That the second derivative is more sensitive towards the changes in the intensity values of the pixels so wherever there is a change in the intensity value it becomes visible here so i was having three variations here if i looked at the original image i had one spike here one spike here and again a change here so i should be getting so i'm getting one spike here one spike here and another over here so these are the zero crossings that i'm getting at the edges 
so this is a wonderful way to be able to find out the edges because i am in the second derivative sensitive towards the intensity value changes and generally my edges have intensity value changing between the neighboring pixels so looking at the final output now since i have an image which is basically a two dimensional image what will happen i will have to take the derivative in the uh, x plane and i will also have to take the derivative in the y plane so effectively when i add them up i will be getting something like this i will have the values fx plus 1 comma y plus fx minus 1 comma y plus fx y plus 1 plus fx y minus 1 minus 4 times the central pixel so why is it happening because my pixel if i'm talking about this direction then i will be add, adding this plus this minus twice of this when i'm looking at this direction i'm adding this plus this minus twice of this so effectively i am getting adding these 1 2 3 4 and i am subtracting four times this central value so if i have a pixel if i build a filter ac according to this these are the values that i put in one over here for this 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 and minus 4 depicting the central pixel value so if i am able to just take this filter and convolute it across my image i should be able to get the i should be able to implement the laplacian filter on my image so let's take an example suppose i have an image like this so i have an image here which has 10 pixel values so it is basically something close to zero so i'll have black values here white something white a line here and a white line here so this is the kind of image that i have now suppose i want to apply the laplacian filter so this is the laplacian filter i have now let's try and apply this so what will happen my first pixel now legitimately i'll be able to put this uh, entire thing on top of it only at this place that's my first value because i can't put here i don't have values around here so the first place where but this entire uh, mesh will fit in will be this and i'll be calculating the center pixel here so when i superimpose this you can see how it looks like i'm kind of superimposing this entire laplacian filter on this image and i'm getting values here so then if i want to calculate the central pixel value what will i do i will say 0 into 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 0 into 10 plus 1 into 10 minus 4 into 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 0 into 200 plus 1 into 200 plus 0 into 200 so that should be the intensity level that i get for this central pixel here similarly for this i will again move this pixel over here and put it here this entire filter and i will get all the corresponding similar values so i'll be able to move this entire filter from here to here and in this direction when i move so i will come here next and i will place the filter here this is how it is going to look like so i'll be able to convolute till this pixel this is the last pixel that i can get the output for so my output will look something like this it's going to have 1 2 3 4 rows and 1 2 3 4 four columns because that's where my entire filter will fit in the other places the i'll not be able to put a filter so i'll not be able to apply it only so similarly for this suppose i'm looking at this pixel i will put the filter here 10 into 0 plus 1 into 10 plus 0 into 10 plus 1 into 200 plus 4 minus 4 into 200 plus 1 into 200 plus 0 into 10 plus 1 into 10 plus 0 into 10 so i will get this value and it comes to minus 380 which is effectively zero because i know that i don't have negative intensity values so maximum if my value is going above 255 my output will have 255 here if it is going below 0 it will be zero here so similarly i can conv convolute this and i can get the output like this so it's going to be 190 190 190 190, 190 zeros here and 190s here so you can see i will have the zero uh, so this is kind of highlighted here i will have a very bright value here then again very dark here one bright here and one dark here so i'm able to look the look at the lines so the lines basically that i had once i convolve the laplacian filter i am able to see lines here a spike here in terms of the intensity value and this is giving me the output in terms of the lines that i should have so it's giving me the edges it is highlighting the edges so that's the idea of using a laplacian filter i am able to highlight the edges here and i am getting two edges here 
सो होप दिस क्लियर्स द न्यूमेरिकल पार्ट ऑफ द लाप्लाशियन फिल्टर थैंक यू